cuando era muy, muy pequeño, un, en una cierta edad, iba a la escuela y tuve que, que parar de ir a la escuela para, para poder ir a, a pescar y, y ayudarle a mis padres, porque de ahí, es, es muy duro, la situación es muy dura y, y de ahí por eso fue que, que no pude estudiar y, y dedicarme a, a la pesca hace mucho tiempo. Es un poco muy cansado, muy difícil porque hay noches que, que te trasnochas todas las noches y no agarras nada. No quieres llegar ni a, ni, a, ni a tu casa porque tu familia te espera en la playa. Sustainability, sustainable use, responsible development, conservation, there all are important components, important pillars in a blue economy. When you're balancing providing for people for their needs socially, when you're looking at eradicating poverty in your country and a country which has natural resources, you now have to find that balance between development and the balance to know people meeting their basic needs and also to find that balance with environmental protection and also sustainable use. I'm fishing from like when I like when I know myself. I'm 53 years old right now, and when I was like 15, 20 years, I don't gotta come too far for go fishing. The price wasn't like now. The gas is high, and the product is a little bit expensive, but it's getting lower. Stocks are under high pressure and overfished in most regions of the world. Persons are more interested in material gain and not taking into consideration conservation measures. So in that context, that is the greatest threat. Too much competition. The product is um, less and less. None of us are planting nothing out here. They're just kind of ripping out, ripping out. It's obviously, to every time they come, you take it out, and we don't give them no chance to like grow because when I catch them now, they got egg. So you know how much millions we are killing out the mother, and we're killing out the small. So it's just sucks. You have. Many ways is that can do it better, right? The OETS project is a UN implemented project that really seeks to assist and support developing countries to better understand and analyze what ocean-based economic sectors we have out there and how we can enhance and strengthen those sectors while ensuring that sustainability factor is also considered. The 
OETS project has three phases. The first being assessment and formulation. The second being validation. And the third being dissemination. The pillars of uh, sustainable development, you know, as economic development, social development, and environmental. In addition to that, governance as well as the need for scientific research were identified as critical. In terms of governance, we've already signed all of the major conventions that relate to the management and conservation of fisheries resources. For example, the United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea. Uno de los factores más importantes para lograr un desarrollo sostenible es el que se trabaje al lado de los pescadores. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Oscar Barahona para servirle. Hay pérdidas, hay viajes buenos, viajes malos. Y a raíz de los precios que suben y bajan, y, el, y a veces ganamos bien, a veces ganamos mal. Y no es todo el tiempo que se gana dinero. Como parte de la industria pesquera, los más interesados en que la actividad se desarrolle de manera sostenible para que pueda perdurar en el tiempo, somos los que nos encontramos en ella. really is for us to add value to our stable, commercially important products. We also have multi-species fin fish management plan. La marca colectiva que se ha diseñado en conjunto para efectos de demostrar transparencia, inocuidad, trazabilidad, eh, el desempeño social y ambiental que esto podría generar a todas las comunidades costeras y eh, acuicultores. The full implementation of the OETS project can lead to Barbados particularly as a small island developing state, accessing large international markets that it doesn't currently access. Activity is still ongoing. However, that activity is also highlighting some of the problems that our stakeholders continue to experience, especially given the effects of COVID-19 and climate change. Knowledge exchange was a key part of the OETS project. We cannot speak about managing a natural resource without local knowledge. It is one of the underlying pillars that has been able to build the capacity at the local level. Without the knowledge, the buy-in, the support of local fishermen, it would nearly be impossible to be able to achieve these major milestones. estamos en Costa de Pájaro, en el área marina de pesca responsable.
Bueno, nosotros como conocimiento de, tradicional de los pescadores aportamos eh, un granito de arena para poder este, visualizar la área marina de pesca responsable acá en Costa de Pájaro. Para nosotros es muy importante la actividad de la pesca porque se benefician eh, nuestra familia y para nosotros el sector pesquero todos somos familias. ancestors did a really good job in the conservation of forests and what happened in land. The ocean needs a little bit of help. That's a big mission, but it's accomplishable and we're, we're getting small steps towards it. It's something that we have to approach collectively as a global community. It's a matter of you know, continuing to build that capacity, continuing to build that network, that relationship with other countries in the Caribbean region, in Central America, so that we can learn from what they are doing, so that they can learn from what we are doing. We have challenges. We don't have the kind of resources. We don't have the infrastructure. We also have limitations in terms of capacity. Countries need the support and the assistance of more developed countries and the international community to help us meet these global goals. We need to have these things in place for us as a people to continue to have healthy ecosystems resilient resources, especially with climate change being a huge factor, and also for us to be able to have resources that our people can continue to benefit from. And for us to continue as a people, we're traditionally, we're people who have been using the resources and we want to be able to continue to do that. De, me encanta hacerlo porque de, es una pesca muy, muy buena y muy, muy selectiva donde hay que tener muchas reglas con las especies que, que, que capturas entonces hay que, hay que cuidar eso también porque si no, ¿cómo vamos a cuidar el, el océano? si no, 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 no cuidamos eso <risa>